Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Endless Space 2. So I was just looking at the victory screen here, trying to parse this. So like, we know that, for example, you win a score victory by having the highest score when the game reaches its natural conclusion. I don't actually know when that is, based on our turn speed. My guess is turn 250? I think that's what it was in Endless Legend on Standard. Um, but like, here it has four little bars, right, and two of them are, are colored in, two of them are lit up, but mousing over this area tells me nothing about it, and I don't know what I'm supposed to draw from the fact that two bars are filled in here. My, my immediate feeling would be that this is like a progress bar, but what would it mean to be progressing toward the score victory? We're not halfway through the game, and that idea is pretty quickly debunked by things like the economy victory, where you have to generate 630k dust. I have 9k, and one of the bars is filled in. If this is meant to be a progress bar, that is one hell of a rounding error. Um, so I don't know. Conquest, I own 9 out of the 34 required star systems in the galaxy. We have 2 bars filled in. 9 is just about 1 quarter of 34. I guess this could be a progress bar then, like if this is... A quarter of 34 is, you know, 8.5? Something. It's like that. So, like, uh, we are over 1 quarter. Maybe it started filling the second quarter. I, I don't know. One out of eight. Yeah, I guess it could just be round. It could be weird rounding. And then it shows us these things, um, which are interesting things to know. And they're sort of sorted into the, uh, the, they're slotted into, like, where they fall, what victory type they're most relevant toward. But they're not particularly, uh, actually directly linked. Still, I like having all this information at a glance. Also, that song that was on when I started the video, holy shit, I love that song. There's some, I mean, I shouldn't be surprised. Well, I'm pretty sure that Fly By No is responsible for the music here, and I'm pretty sure he was responsible for the music in Endless Legend, which was fantastic, so makes a lot of sense. All right, so to the thing at hand. Number one is I want Lyra back. Maybe that's number two. Number one is we have to make Mayal safe. Number two is I want Lyra back. What we learned last episode, I think, is that it is not a good idea to bring spaceship fighting warships to a planet and try to conquer it with them. We probably need to build a ship that, like, has manpower modules on it or something. We need to, like, bring some tanks over, have a ship that is for that purpose, and invade proper. So, let's have a quick look at the tech tree and try to figure out how the hell we do that. Uh, so, I'm currently researching this. This allows us to make air units for ground battles. That's cool. Where's, um, where's tanks? Am I allowed to have tanks? Okay, tanks are on this thing. So I do, I should have tanks. What, uh, what's going on with that? Um, hmm. Somebody mentioned to me, helpful viewers, you guys, by the way, have been great. Thank you so much. Um, you, somebody mentioned to me that there's a military screen where you can, like, upgrade your ground troops. Is this it? Uh, here's battle tactics. Troops breakdown. Oh. Well, there's a whole interface that I was missing. <laughs> this is what happens when I don't bother to look at the tutorial or read the manual. So I can change... <clears throat> I can change the distribution of my units. It's going to cost some manpower to change things up, but that's fine. I mean, we're generating a lot of manpower. Um, so what's like, do I have some description here? They have, each tank has as much health as six dudes, does two to one and a half times as much damage, but has a triple manpower cost. So actually, it seems like a, a large a large group of infantry does more damage in total than a large group of tanks does, but the tanks will have way more health. And plus 50% damage against infantry troops, plus 50% against air, and this is against armor. Okay. So maybe I don't even want to unlock tanks. Maybe I want to wait until this, air, this uh, air unit thing is finished and then bring in planes to help me counter their... Well, I guess, though, if they're running troops and tanks, my response should be tanks and planes. Mostly. 
And we can pay dust to unlock upgrades. So, like... Yeah, this stuff is important. This stuff matters. How much dust do I have? I have 190 dust. Uh... So it's just, is it the same? Yeah, it's pretty much the same stuff all across. Extra health, extra damage, extra damage against the thing that is that they are strongest against. And a little bit more of health and damage. Okay, this is really interesting. Gee, I don't know. So we're adding a lot of health. And I mean, these do... So against infantry troops, these do 15 to 22.5, <clears throat> which does make them... It, it puts them a lot closer to three times the damage of the infantry, which helps to offset the fact that they cost three times as much. Okay, let's try... Let's try this. Let's go 70-30 tanks, and we'll, uh, we'll try to work some air in once we get that ability. I need more money. We're working on universal aerodynamics right now because it gives command points. We need money. Where is... What's the deal with my trading companies? I don't currently control any trading companies. How do I get them? I get them via commercial frameworks. Uh, that costs forty nine fifty nine. My science per turn is nineteen ninety five. You know what? Hold on. There's a button I can. Hold. How do I do this? Ah, if you alt click, it puts the research at the top of the tree, or at the top of your queue. Shuffles it in in front of other stuff. That's good. One more thing. Okay, still a pretty good boost. We need money. We need money to be able to upgrade our troops. Now, everybody doesn't have their action point except you, and I don't think you should initiate combat. Okay. So how can I see... Can I see the manpower level of my ships? I can. These guys are... These guys are all tapped out. Because this... This place has no defenses. Yeah, this place has no manpower, so... Okay, we have to we have to get this area rebuilt, or we have to go back to a system that does have some defenses, I believe, and then you replenish your manpower from there. I think Whew, we're learning a lot, though. I think we're good. I think we're good for the turn. What's this market-wide price decrease in everything's? Should I sell some stuff to? I mean, this will help. We have the resources necessary to do some level 3 modernizations. I should prioritize those. Actually, we should prioritize those in the places that are the least happy, though, right? So Indusa, Sabel, and Octens all could use a little bit of modernization. Oh, well, a lot of these are places that don't have level 2 modernization, aren't they? That'll be why. Oh, there's a you can do the same thing with um, adding stuff to the build queue. For example, if it's it's alt, I think. Yeah, if you alt click something, it puts it at the top of the queue. Uh, that was also true, I believe, in Endless Legend. Uh, it might have been alt. It might have been control. I don't remember what it was, but yeah, you can do kind of the same thing. Okay. Uh, so how much how much transvine do I have left now? A hundred still. So we could go for some more... I guess I can... I can do it in these places after they finish modernizing. We'll modernize them up to level 3 as well. Alright, I guess let's end the turn. So we probably want this fleet to engage combat the moment that that option is available to us. Let's try to catch these Cravers before they flee. Um, and by the way, I do want to make a, make a clear point of something. Wow, they just moved 14 ships in. Holy crap, they moved a lot of ships in. Uh, we have access to Red Sang. Cool. Population's growing. Um, we're getting a political survey on turn 100 instead of an election. 
Did the rate of speed, did the rate of uh, elections change or something? I really want to get my all cleaned up because we have to get back to Lyra, right? I did a, uh, I did a temporary, you know, uh, strategic retreat thing there. The preparations I left in place for my empire's return are not going to last forever. So this is pretty good. This is Gobris. This is our one of our more productive systems. We do need to build a trade clearing, clearing bureau somewhere. It's a lot of money and we need the money. Um, it is 39 turns of building. Maybe I should build some other stuff first. Uh, two of our planets, one of our planets has a subterranean deposit. This is plus five uh, industry per citizen on these two planets. That's not bad. Let's make one of these. We really need to pump up our industry before we're ready to, uh... Alright, is everybody moving? You also have to be moving toward the front. Okay, let's resolve this battle. So... Uh, somebody suggested to me that it is, in fact, possible to move all of your ships into the same flotilla. Um, it's just that the dragon dropping is a little finicky. You have to get them in, the, in position just right. Um, that's exactly the kind of feedback I need. Thank you guys for pointing out that kind of stuff. Uh, I think it makes sense for us to just keep up with the uh, the barrage fire. It seems to be doing a really good job. Our fleet is well suited for it. This is a really good tactic. Did we find this or did we research this? I think we found this, right? I think it's really cool that you find a lot of your battle tactics. Because it really emphasizes... Um, really emphasizes the difference from one game to another. Okay, well they picked a much better uh, battle plan that time, since they need to be at short range to fight. So these guys are these guys are also all short range ships, yeah. I have turned down my graphics quality a bit, so I'm wondering if... Oh no, the detector! I'm wondering if it might... if my computer might be able to survive a fleet battle at this point. Okay, we can merge these guys together. And then we have an action point. But man, he has a lot of ships. Let's not... I really want to get out there. We could move one of our big... our big fleets. These guys are... okay, we are replenishing manpower now. Mayal has, uh, has enough population or something. I don't know what it is that's causing it, but you can see over there we are. This fleet is replenishing at 75 per turn. This fleet is replenishing really quickly, and I'm not sure why. Actually, can we get one of these little ships into here. All right, let's make this guy a fleet on his own and then merge these two. There we go. That's the way I want to do that. So can I see... I can't... Clicking on does nothing. I cannot, in fact, see whether or not my, uh, my return plans are still in place. I don't know how many ships the Cravers have, but we've got to be bleeding them pretty dry here. Okay, here's that election. So, what we want... Scientist Militarist, I think. I'm gonna throw... Scientist Militarist Industrialist, right? I don't think I want pacifists in charge. This is not, uh... Well... Hold on. Show me the pacifist laws. What's available? Plus resource and money. Big approval bonus for peace. We have a lot of peace. <clears throat> I'm sure that's why the pacifists are so popular right now. Uh, minus 20% diplomacy cost. Plus 40% dust on systems per trading company. Wow. Are they all like that? All the potent ones. Plus 6 industry per citizen. 
plus 10% in plus 10 industry per population types. That's really cool, actually. So you're trying to get a bunch of different population types and spread them out sort of evenly. There's plus 50% damage all the time, forever. Pacific. It says Pacific. Pacific. Uh, you know, re referring to pacifism. Conversion will be automatically applied when it reaches 100% plus 20% conversion rate. Is this this is about taking other players' stuff through um, influence? I think. Peaceful is the word I might have used. Huh. The mind's bigger decree seems to be strictly worse than uh, the deadly intent bill, but you know it is linked to some pretty good other things. So I think we want to get the yeah we want militarist, scientist, industrialist. So I'm going to support the industrialists. I think we're probably going to see the pacifists actually end up winning the third slot. But let's give it a shot here. The ecologists are putting up a strong showing too. I think this whole um, this whole galactic government thing is a really cool concept. Okay, fair enough. We are actually at potent with the uh, with the scientists, so we could lay on that weapon modules thing. But I really don't want to miss my chance to engage, so let's make sure that I get to lead the attack. What is this? Oh, the militarists are now the um, are now the primary faction. Shoot, I did need to support the scientists. That's going to screw up my researches. Oh, you monsters. Well. Free war declarations. And I mean, that is going to be f plus 15 approval on all my systems. And we have enough researches now that, you know, it's probably fine. It might actually be better that it's this way. Okay. Uh, let's resolve this battle after I do stuff. I like to take this time when all of the troops are co are committed and nobody can move around to uh, make sure stuff is good. So everybody's ecstatic now. So we don't need... I mean, we still need this because we need the money. How many modernizations can I pull off at the, at the moment? I can put up two more, it looks like. Wait, is it... No, it's 20 each, so I can actually, uh, three more. Three more systems could become level three. I wish it was a little bit more obvious from the, um, from this view, which systems were what level. Because there's definitely some level three systems already that I'm, uh, oh, you're not even level two, jeez. Everybody needs to be level 2 at least because we need people to get to level 3. Um, prioritize that. Once we have some more level 3 systems, we're going to have a good, a good economic base to work with. Okay. Alright, I think that's everything that needs doing for the turn. Let's rumble. So their ships are really poorly matched against mine, it seems like. Yeah, the short range, get lucky. Plus 70% damage bonus on critical hits. He's been getting stomped so hard, he's just like, <laughs> screw it, let's roll the dice, maybe that'll work. Okay, so this is a lot of slicers, a lot of little ships. These are more effective at long range. We're gonna, definitely going to see more damage this battle. Uh, does that... Do, should I change up my tactics, maybe? No, I think this is good. I like barrage fire a lot with our ship designs. Let's see how bad it is. I mean, we should pick off some of his ships pretty quickly in the battle, which should mean that the damage isn't too severe. Wow, we did almost no damage. They must have closed to short range really quickly. Oh, you know what? I bet smaller ships are a lot faster. 
Yeah, they probably close to short range really quickly. That's not good for us, actually. Um... Let's have you step out so that we can merge these guys up and attack. Okay, so maybe we... What do I do here? I mean, honestly, I don't know that we have a better play. We just have to kind of hope that he chooses a different module or a different tactic. We need a little bit more um, versatility in our fleet, probably. I mean, we can wear this group down through, uh, through attrition. Major defeat. Yeah, if he keeps, if he keeps being able to close, uh, distance, that's, how, that's really gonna hurt us. Well, hmm. Actually. Wait, I did that wrong. You guys merge, you eject one of your little ships, and merge like this, so that we have full fleets over here. Alright, we're about to have commercial frameworks. I'm actually really, um, I'm pretty worried. Wow. Rushing ship repairs is very expensive, uh, once you have ships that aren't, ba aren't terrible garbage. Well, I could take over one more system. So we really want it to be Lyra. I want to get Lyra back. I'm going to pull this off. The butchers are easy. We need another ship design is the answer. That's how I'm going to pull this off is we're going to get a different ship design in here. Now, is the Smasher is the only non-small ship that I have, right? Yeah. Maybe we should make more accelerators. We're very smasher heavy right now. The accelerators are probably a good idea. I think we need to we need to make these upgrades because we need money. But the next time we're available to build ships, it's gotta be accelerators. We have to pad out our fleet with some more small close range ships, or a closer range at least. Okay, so now we have the ability to build trade companies, right? No research queued. I thought I had the research I had queued. I can no longer research because it was a tech. It was a tier up. Okay, so we have to research two more things in this tier. Well, that's actually not a bad thing because that gives us access to some more new weapons. Actually, we uh. Okay, hold on. I'll be right with you. Okay, so this would be better for us to research for the case of our uh, our bonuses, but obviously I'm pretty committed to projectile weapons since we found that projectile damage boosting support um, module. What are these? Oh, these are new battle tactics. Okay, so you do unlock battle tactics through this tree as well. Irradiation, long defense, diplomatic immunity. That's really interesting. Um, all right, let's get some better weapons modules. I guess we'll go for advanced fusion fusion uh, power. We gotta build. We gotta get something to build up this way. Okay, and once again, Eridanus is under attack. <clears throat> These slicers, man. How do I want to handle this? Well, let's send these guys over here. Attack the enemy ship in orbit and uh, get rid of it. Plus extra experience on fleet. It's a single invader. It should be completely trivial. I guess there's no reason not to take this. We should get this fight pretty easily. Yeah, a little bit of extra XP. 
All right, now the ground battle plan. Uh, this is a problem. Protect the system. Just survive, guys. Just survive. He actually took the system. I had tanks that time. He just has a lot more troops. He was able to put 750 manpower into that battle. Well, I was only able to put 200 in, despite the fact that... I, but, ah, man, okay, we gotta... Well, we gotta fix that. Um, system isn't under siege. Okay, well... Maybe in order for a system to be under siege, you have to have a ship at it with an action point available. That might be a thing. Looks like he moved most of his ships away, so let's, I guess, finish this off. He completely surrendered this system. Alright. I can't imagine that we'll have a problem taking this. The question is, does this navy go to Lyra? It's tricky. I'm not really sure what to do. So these guys give bonus manpower. The way things are going, maybe we need to bring these dudes in. Because if you assimilate them, you get their um, their effects permanently, I believe. You can ask them what their quest is and see if it's easy, I guess. Generate 820 science per turn in one of your systems. We're not close to that, are we? We are. Gonos is actually pretty close. Because we can, we can just take them right now. Because we have them at maximum love, we can just take them. But it costs 800 influence. And I have 800 influence. I'm not 100% sure what I'm doing with it, but I, I'd like to not spend it if I can get away with not spending it, right? Obviously. Uh, we don't have anything that can directly boost our science researched. Oh, this. We have this. Plus two science per person. Actually, that might do it. It's expensive, but that might do it. We have 14 turns to get it done. All right. I'm going to do it. I'm going to leave a pretty small garrison here. These guys can come back soon. Okay. This is where all their slicers went. Not totally ideal. Uh, well, using barrage fire should at least allow us to take out their mediums pretty easily. But I think we may have to um, flee the system back to safety after the battle. <laughs> well, we managed to take out two of the slicers, actually. And Cubed is a total monster. So I think we, we probably have to take combat stuff, right? Like, I, as much as I would like to get experience and vision range, even if this ends up not being totally optimal, it's pretty important that we take it. Okay, we're in a little bit of danger. And again, I want to emphasize that probably this war would not even be going as well as it is going if I wasn't playing on Sirius, uh, which I'm doing because I'm a little uh, unsure of myself with the mechanics yet. Uh, we will probably be playing on Endless from the beginning of the next game onward, so things will be a little uh, a little trickier. I'm, I'm willing to stand and fight them again. Okay, here we go. Yeah, they have... Let's, um... Let's take it easy. Yeah, they have no backup, so we can just take our system back, it looks like. Yeah, okay. Hurry. On the shoulders of supergiants has ended. Plus 20, ah, plus 20 approval on all of our systems has ended. Let's see what our approval levels look like now. Still pretty high. Indusa and Justium could use um, level 3 upgrades. 
short transvine. How quickly is the transvine coming in? Four per turn? Okay, so we'll be able to do one next turn, and then another one, you know, half a dozen turns after that. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Uh, as places that are near the front complete things, we're going to need them to pump out some accelerators. Did he undo my specializations? Annoying. I probably should fix these first, actually. Alright, um... Alright, we stole 900 uh, dust from his civilian transport fleet that was trying to put men down on Eridanus. Uh, and we still have our action point, because that wasn't a real battle. Can I... why is this guy up... why is his fleet up top? I don't know. I don't know what's up with that. So he's got three slicers and a butcher. One of the slicers is gravely injured against my also very injured fleet. Well, he's also got another Butcher here. What do I think? Can I do this? Two of my Smashers are very healthy. I'm gonna go for it. We're gonna take the Barrage Fire, and we're just gonna do this. Oh, it merged his fleets into one fleet. Was it doing that for me over here? I don't think so. When my fleets were all broken up and not, um... Not ideal. Wow. Wow, we lost that really badly. Yeah. Um. Stay far away. Maybe we'll be able to stop him from getting in close. We were, in fact, able to stop him from getting in close. We are definitely going to have to flee Lyra, though. All right. We just we definitely just passed some of his ships on the uh, on the route here. He's I mean, he's fighting back. He's given us a little bit of uh, a little bit of the old what for. I think we should be able to do this. His ships are just so the the short range ships are really the short ranged large slow ships are really poorly matched against my ships. That is uh, that is the entire story of this war so far basically. All right, so we have to have. It's too easy for him to get to Eridanus through the wormhole. We have to have a stationed defensive fleet, I think. All right, we're about to have a ship finish here. This is a this is a tough bit of back and forth. And the thing is, I also need to have um, I also need to get trade ships done, and I need to try to finish this assimilation quest and. Make a fleet. Hurry down here. We can really use some, some help. Uh, Gobris looks like a fine place to build some more some more units. So let's build a couple accelerators and then a couple smashers. What am I gonna use all this dust and influence on? We can try to make some deals with some other players. That might be helpful. Do I know you, Blue? Oh yeah, this is this player, right. What, um, what is the meaning of this? The pressure trend. Hold on, okay, so let's click on this dude. After drought. Presence is always welcomed by the unfallen. Yeah, cool. So basically, everybody's everybody's producing more pressure than me. I think is what's happening here, and that makes it difficult for my planet's sphere of influence to overwhelm the spheres of other people. We've got to get our influence fixed. We've got to get so many things fixed. <laughs> Have you noticed how how ugly this is? So Mael has no. Um, it's not projecting a sphere of influence. 
I think that's probably because it's been under attack by enemy ships for literally the entire time we've owned it. But it's a problem we gotta fix, man. It is working hard on... Actually, this might be a good thing to pick up here. We have a temperate planet. Yeah, maybe this is a good thing to use our, our uh, dust on. Actually, I think that's really good. Let's get some industry into this system. Start figuring things out. Okay, we need to... Additionally, construct that trade, uh, the trade company. We gotta figure that out. So if we construct the trade, I mean, our dust situation is already feeling a lot better. Oh, hey. My participation was too low for me to deserve any reward. Aw. The unfallen Bochi. I'm sure of your actions. Yes, I know. I'm working really hard on defeating our common enemy. You could uh, maybe lend a little hand here, actually, on that front. Okay, so we have access to some better weapons now. I gotta upgrade our ships. If we pick up another tech in this area, we can get up to uh, up to the thing we were working on. But we just finished a tech that I think nobody else has researched yet, so we may want to take advantage of that to uh, to work on another tech here. To work on a bigger, more important tech. Okay, so this increases the effectiveness of trade companies. The fabrication license seems like a pretty good... Ooh, squat thick systems. Actually, both of the parts of this thing seem really good. Um, the other thing is, I really, really want some influence. So we need to find like a good influence building. Government diversity unlocks new government types. Okay. That's not bad. We're able to keep our approval levels pretty high. Okay, that's a unique influence. Uh, or unique improvement. But 40, 40 industry per system level, or 40 influence rather, is pretty good. We have system level 3 in a couple of places, so we can put this down in any of them and get plus 120, plus 20%. Xenoanthropology, though. The National Museum. That feels right. We could also get the spin project, which would allow us to re-specialize our planets toward industry production, or influence production. But I think I actually want them focused on industry, because we're having some build issues. So why don't I go for this? Let's get Xenoanthropology. We'll see some new government types. We'll see a national museum. It'll be interesting. I think I'm still running with the same base government type that I've been running with. Yeah, we've been a democracy the entire game. So it's not impossible that we can make a better move on that. Plus 25 science per destroyed command point. I really like this being available to all players. It gives you a way to not fall behind in the science game while also playing the military game, which is a problem that I think a lot of 4Xs have. Where if you over-devote to military... If you devote hard to military, which you may have to, to deal with a neighbor... Um, it sometimes takes you out of the turtley part of the game entirely, and you can't always afford to be entirely out of the turtley part of the game. Uh, plus three science per citizen, but minus one in... Man, minus one approval per citizen is a little harsh. I'm happy with our laws the way they are. All right. This is just big short-range ships. So this should go better, I think. Yeah, we're killing them with these uh, with these long-range ships. They are surviving the battles now, though. They were getting completely blown out. It might be hull upgrades. They have a lot of health. Because they're not really doing... Can I look at the... Oh, no, he just retreated. There wasn't actually a battle, that's why. 
That makes sense. Well, if we can keep them from parking here for a turn, that means we don't have to worry about them getting to Eridanus. So actually, I can move this guy up. Uh, Sabel... Okay. Sabel could take that level 2, right? Or that level 3? Oh no, Sabel already got to level 3. Uh... Hmm. We can build... Does the trade company HQ... I wish I could right-click on stuff for more information. My... Suspicion is that the trade company HQ produces an amount of dust that is based on the sort of the value of the system it's built in, and I think I want it here. Although there are two luxuries here, I don't. How does that work? How do trade companies even work, man? It doesn't tell us. Okay. You know what, Saddle? Let's learn something. If this turns out to be really bad, it will, at the very least, educate us as to what we need for the next game. Or even just the next trade company. Alright, our manpower is replenishing rapidly. We actually really are getting a lot just from the Hisho. Although, I guess they would probably give us more when assimilated due to the fact that their assimilation thing is, uh, is manpower-based. We should... Plus five defense per turn. We should actually try to get these guys up as well. Okay. Yeah, because they could be they could be generating more manpower. I don't know that I would want to convert them necessarily, because we're like pushed right up against our limit of systems, and I want to. I really would like to take back Lyra. All right, our ships are repairing, right? Yes, they are. Slowly. We can't afford to do the rush repair, but uh, they are repairing slowly, naturally. I wonder if there's a building you can build that uh, makes that process faster. Alright, so those cravers just moved into our system. They will be stuck here for a turn. Uh, there's, like, not really... Actually, if political leader plus five happiness on systems, I didn't read that right. It looks like the on senate bonus affects all of our systems at the same time. So actually, this is totally worth a skill point. I had originally read it as only applying to the system he was in. Okay, who? This guy. This guy's fleet is healthier. Let us engage. I expect this not to go that well. Oh, barrage him. No, actually we crushed him. They turtled, but it didn't matter. So we're... They're going full projectile defense against our full projectile offense. Ah, but they are, they've also switched to projectile offense. I'm guessing bullet-based offense based on their range efficiencies. You would think bullet-based offense would actually be pretty good against us. We're using a lot of torpedoes. Alright. We have to make another play for Lyra. At this point, I imagine any bonuses that I would have gleaned from my, uh, my dudes, my tactical retreat, are lost. But... That doesn't mean we can't take it. it. Just means we have to be careful. All right, so I could reconfigure one of these fleets. Like we could take. I want it to probably to be this guy's fleet. So let's take these two ships, pop them out, and then give me these two healthy ships. Your healthiest smasher. And we need this accelerator as well. Okay. And then we grab like this. Oh, I have to do this a little differently. Merge these up. Okay. Alright, this is a relatively healthy fleet that's a little bit better at close-range fighting. A little bit worse at long-range fighting. Let's head back to Lyra and see if we can, uh... 
See if we can indeed liberate it. Because it wasn't all that well defended when we were there not that long ago. If we could get Lyra back and then figure out a way to end the war, I might I might accept that. Cause it does seem like this is um This is getting worse for me. Our relations with you are as Okay, yes, we are buddies. I know. I know we are buddies. Alright, so let's have these guys. They should be able to take one enemy ship. Yeah, I'm sure. So have these guys initiate Garage fire, you know what I like. And we did it. We forced him to retreat back to his home planet. Alright. Let's see if we do indeed have any shot at all of taking Lyra. They have a lot of ships in orbit. All in the same fleet, no less. All right. Now we're a little bit better at fighting at close range due to the larger number of accelerators. We could go for post-op analysis instead. No, our short our short game is still weaker. I think this is the right call. Let's see how poorly this goes. He played Turtle. That's pretty much what I expected. We lost two of our accelerators. They lost two of their slicers. They didn't take any other meaningful damage, and we took a ton. Well, I guess maybe a ton is an exaggeration. It's too much, though. Oops. Oh, I want to. Sorry, I was just trying to click on the fleets. Okay. So we are now at eight. He won't get there this turn. The Smasher would get there this turn, but he's completely torn up. And we'll just have to mash the hell out of this button and try to get him over there in time. Yeah, I am not good at attacking, is what I've learned. And like I said, we probably need to design some actual manpower-focused ships. Um, let's see what that would look like. So if I let's let's say I create a new uh, a new invasion ship. Let's say would small be good enough? We probably don't want it to be a protector. Although I might want to make some protectors actually. We don't actually have access to a manpower module, do we? Is that something I that's something I have to research probably. Okay. So we did um, we did research this. I need to I need to work these into my ships. So like we're looking at right now we have 24 damage per second torpedoes. These are 32 damage per second with a critical hit chance that these don't have. They kill crew when they hit, and the weapons the, the missiles themselves have more health, so they're less affected by bullets. It seems like a pretty big difference. And interestingly, they're actually cheaper uh, industry cost. It's 49 for the basic torpedoes, but only 43 for these. Yeah, okay, so we can't we can't do the thing I was trying to do. Oh, I should um, fix the fix these designs, though. Let's upgrade all of our torpedoes. Do I want to... I don't really have. I don't have a support slot. That's right. I was trying to think. Why am I not? Uh, why am I not using this? But that's because I don't have a slot for it. Okay, you guys are going to get a little expensive. That's okay. We have four hundred titanium. Should I just send our guys home? Maybe. Wow. That's a lot of dust. 
Oh, you can't upgrade a damaged ship. This is repair and upgrade. So it's actually not that expensive to upgrade. We just can't afford the repairs. That's probably good for balance reasons, I suspect. Alright. Oh, we have some government diversity. Actually, let's go look at what our new government types are. Uh, did we unlock new government types? These look like the same ones. Are they improved versions of the old ones? No, they they look real real similar. Hmm. Laws provide better effects in a republic. I wonder what the actual meaning of that is mechanically. So we could go to a republic, I suppose. I don't know that we're necessarily making great use of our democratic abilities, but screw that noise. Maybe we won't see our new governments um, show up until next turn, since we just finished the research this turn. Anyway, uh, back to military research. Forever. So I need one more tech in this era. Medium, long, medium, long, medium, medium. I mean, these are, like, my kind of thing. Okay, yeah, these are much more aggressive battle plans. Yeah, okay, survival suits. Let's pick it up. Nobody has researched this yet. Two turns, and then we're in the next tier. Uh, this is almost done. I had to decide whether we want to bail or not. The ships are too good, too powerful. I think we gotta get out of here. So let's dial in the order, and like I said, just mash the hell out of this button when the turn starts. And you do not go anywhere. Yeah, I'm having a really hard time breaching Lyra. We might have to bring two fleets over. I don't feel super safe doing that because he's been very aggressive at my all. Maybe we should just push down this way. I could maybe even go to Sirius instead of going to Lyra. I wanted the Academy back. But maybe that's silly. Maybe I don't need it. Maybe I'm way too concerned about something that just doesn't matter. That sounds like me. It sounds like it could be me. Alright. Let's build some stuff. You're ecstatic. So... Does the National... What's the National Museum cost to build? Okay. Uh, in that case, actually, let's remove this from the queue, and I don't remember what... Is it control click? No. There's a command in Endless Legend that enqueues something in every one of your uh, cities. Uh, I can't find it. Whatever. We'll just build it everywhere manually. Okay. We gotta get our influence up for this quest, but also for every other reason. We are doing a good job of holding my own. Alright, so I'm going to mash the heck out of this button, try to get out of Lyra before we get attacked again, because they will attack us, because it would be crazy not to. Come on, go, go, go. Go, go, go. Okay, we made it out. Tense political rivalry between militarism and pacifism in the Induso system has risen to emergency levels. The militarist faction has ordered the construction of an intricate system-spanning barricade between... Oh, come on with this. Come on with the giant space wall, this is ridiculous. 80% uh, chance of creating a major pil uh, political crisis? What does that... What does that mean, major political crisis? That sounds terrifying. Um, Indusa is not producing a huge amount of industry, so I feel like this... Let's go for dismantle. I don't want the chance of a political crisis, and I don't think reducing Indusa's... Uh, industry by 15% actually is that big of a deal. Oh, okay. It notifies you every time that comes off of uh, cooldown. That's nice. Alright, so if we let them sit at our system for a turn, they're going to get to do whatever they want uh, next turn, as far as movement goes. So screw that noise. Go get them, guys. 
Is he still all short range? Ooh, no, he's re-equipped. Uh-oh. His ships only have about as much damage as mine do. But the game is predicting this massively in his favor. It's a health thing, isn't it? Ooh. 6297 or 6279 versus 7546 actually. So he went get lucky. He was probably able to close to like medium range. He does have better defenses than we had. Well, that's pretty bad. That might be the end of us right there. Uh, power to shield, stay alive. Yeah, that <laughs> that might be game. I'm going to have trouble replacing that fleet quickly enough. Uh, these smashers should... Shoot. Should what? I honestly don't... I don't know what to do here. Uh, you can't retreat, so I guess... Yeah, just... To inflict what damage you can. Retreating at this low health would just destroy him. Oh, man. And now, a ground battle at my all. Okay, hold on a second. What's this? Cool. Amicable. Uh, that's very helpful. Thank you. Uh, we have increased our manpower capacity significantly. Starting experience up. Alright. Protect the system, probably, right? Just try to survive. We have some tanks now, so they won't be blowing us out so badly on the ground all the time. Man, they really did damage us, though. They destroyed our geo-industrial plants. Man. I needed those plants. What are you doing? Okay, we've got our survival suits. I think it's probably right to pick up Universal Aerodynamics again. And, um... And to make a lot of ships, right? As much as I really, really, really want to focus on infrastructure right now, and also at all other times, uh, we got to make boats. So, what does it cost to buy an accelerator? Okay, we could. We have the dust for it. Maybe we should train, change things up, though. I'm thinking these ships are, at the moment, pretty weak to energy weapons. I don't know why the, the thing keeps disappearing and reappearing. It's weird. Yeah, they're weak to energy weapons. Maybe I should tra change it up. Like, I know we have that... Um, we have that really great support module. Plus 25% damage is, like, that's serious. That doesn't tell me exactly what it reduces stuff by. Hmm. It's a tough question. And I'm not really sure how to, um... How to balance... Like, hitting them in their weak defense versus having a damage bonus, because I don't know exactly what the uh, numerical effect of the defenses is. I'll tell you what. We're going to call it here for today. I'm going to see if I can find some more information, maybe some formulas online. Um, see if maybe this information's in the manual, because I know the game does come with a manual. Uh, come back next time. We're going to keep pursuing our war, um, but this game might be close to over. That's not the end of the world. If we lose, it's totally fine. Uh, obviously, I'm going to be playing Endless Space 2 probably for quite some time. Uh, so we'll just get into a new game if the worst occurs. Anyway, come back next time. We're going to figure out this war against the Cravers. And we'll see you then.